Hello, prospective student and families. Uh, we're so thankful that you have interest in joining our wonderful community here at Cary Academy. Um, my name is Brandon Carter. I'm one of the college counselors um, uh, here in, in the office. Um, and today I just wanted to share uh, kind of like our philosophy and our overview in terms of our college counseling approach that we have for our students and families here. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll start off with um, how we kind of see two phases in terms of the college process. Uh, so the first phase is the college awareness phase. That's um, gonna make up the first two years of your time here in the upper school. So ninth and 10th grade. While we do have programming for parents and we do go around and talk to the ninth graders and the 10th graders in terms of what they should be doing to, during this time um, in high school that's gonna prepare them and help them um, maximize their opportunities when they get to us um, later down the road. Uh, we really see the ninth and 10th grade time as you, as a student, you know that the college process is coming. You know that uh, college is going to be in your in your outlook or in your future here, um, being at a college prep school. Uh, but your main focus right now is tasting and learning a different a lot of different courses, extracurricular activities, sports. Uh, maybe you start one particular hobby or interest and you kind of fall out of love with it, and you want to try something new. It's the perfect time to do that. So um, all of that is going to um, to play into um, how your your time here at Cary Academy. And then once you get into your 11th and 12th grade year, um, those interests and those, um, those uh, really those interests will start to materialize um, and become more cemented uh, to help you decide what's gonna be the best fit for you um, in terms of a college environment. So again, that college awareness phase is happening in the ninth and 10th grade years. Um, and then once you move out of that phase, you're going into the college application phase. Um, so this is when uh, really college starts to come into a good form and good vision for you. Um, and you know, this is this is really when most people think when they think of the college process, the college application process, this is really what they're thinking about. They're talking about going to visit colleges, they're talking about submitting applications and all of those, all of those things that come with that. Um, that's really what we consider that college application phase in an 11th and 12th grade year. That brings me to my point of when we actually assign college counselors. So every student is assigned an individual college counselor here um, at Cary Academy, and you begin working, students begin working with um, their counselor in January of the junior year. Uh, so uh, during the junior year, we'll have some programming, we'll have junior college night, we'll have some other things uh, for parents and, and, and whatnot. Uh, but really those one-on-one -on -one meetings uh, will begin after our junior college kickoff program that we have in the beginning of January. Um, and then those one-on-one -on -one meetings will happen after that. Um, that's when students are actually exploring, uh, they're using different resources that we're going to, to share with the students um, to, find, to help find their best fit colleges. Um, and really start to, uh, to construct that college list, um, especially during the spring. Um, you're gonna be able to you know, have some colleges that are starting to really bubble up for you or uh, may, may interest you at that given time. And you know, in normal times before we were, uh, before COVID kind of uh, threw us off the rails a little bit, this is when you take advantage of visiting colleges to really see what might be a good fit for you. Um, and then bring that information back to your college counselor so that we can continue to uh, get your, your college list in the best place that it could possibly be. Uh, summertime is also a good time for that as well. Um, and then when you when students return to us um, after summer break, the beginning of senior year, that's when the application, like actually applying for colleges will start to, to take place. Uh, we hit the ground running, we're reading essays, we're critiquing essays, we're, uh, you know, helping students if they are if they engage in any type of alumni interviews or um, if they are still looking at colleges um, in terms of either whether it being in a virtual sense or if we're back in person and being able to visit more targeted colleges ones that they feel like you know I've done enough research I've read enough about the school so now I'm really to I'm ready to either revisit or visit for the first time a school that I really feel like could be a good fit for me um, that's really what that process looks like um, going into uh, going into through the the, the senior year uh, the fall of senior year um, so again uh, we are there is a process in place and you will have a designated college counselor um, that is assigned to you January of junior year that will walk with you every step of the way uh, through your college process uh, all the way through graduation and even sometimes after graduation, especially if uh, conversation of transferring from your uh, first institution to another one comes into play, we're happy to help with that as well. 
um, that really goes folds uh, well into us identifying best fit colleges. And when we say best fit colleges, we we understand that uh, there is no perfect college out there. Uh, there is, uh, I, I challenge students, even when they, they feel like they found their, their best, uh, the perfect college for them, even when they step foot on campus, their, uh, their first semester in college, uh, they usually return to me at some point and say, yeah, there's a, there's a few things that I've learned that, uh, not the best, but, um, you know, wasn't something maybe I was anticipating, but I feel like this is the most appropriate environment for me. Um, we are looking, uh, during that process, we are looking for those colleges for that individual student. Um, every student's process is gonna be individualized. Um, their, college pro their college list is gonna be reflective of their interests and their, um, their outlook for what they want to um, experience when they go to college. And we do that step by step with each individual student. So we're finding those best, best fit colleges using resources like FISGUIDE and um, self-identifying quizzes to help you what, uh, to determine what your interests are. Um, if you're not entirely sure, making sure that you find a, you find a set of institutions that are going to um, help you be able to explore when you go to college. Um, or for those students who kind of already know what they want to study while they're in high school, identifying colleges that are going to set them up for success um, and hit the ground running even in their first year in that particular major. So um, we're looking at everything, academics, diversity, um, size of institution, size of uh, classes, uh, um, you know, when can you study abroad? Can that be as early as your first year or do you have to wait until you're a junior? Undergraduate research opportunities, the whole nine. We're going through all of those questions through that process to identify those best fit colleges. Uh, research shows us that when you have this sense of belonging that you see things and you experience things on your college campus that are gonna keep you there, um, your level of success and achievement increases exponentially. Um, when you don't really see those things or you don't really have that feeling or those connections on your school, that's when students tend to struggle. Um, so we, we, we try to prevent that um, and really help students identify those, those schools um, during this call, doing our college process uh, with the student um, so that when they confidently step um, onto their college campus, they know that they made the right choice for them. Uh, so again, again, going back to those best fit colleges, no perfect college, but there are some schools that obviously you'll be able to identify um, that's gonna spell the best for that, for that particular student. Um, we really also see this, this process as growth inducing. Um, there are a number of students that uh, have never had to reflect on why they do the things they do. Um, we have plenty of schools that ask, you know, if you were only allowed to do one extracurricular activity moving forward, what activity would that be and why? They're trying to see what your interests are and are you are you doing those things um, to you know, please others or put them on a resume or are you really, really interested in those things and you're going to continue those things more than likely when you go to college or step on their campus. Um, so this growth inducing process is about really exploring yourself, taking taking stock of who you are and what's important to you. Um, and those things are going to be reflected, hopefully, in your college list um, as you move through the process. I mentioned interviews earlier, having to be able to talk to someone and, and build those social skills, those interpersonal skills is also a part of this process when you're talking to um, uh, admissions counselors or if you're in an a interview session with an alum um, of that particular school. That is a part of that growth inducing process as well. Um, so writing essays, meeting deadlines, time management is probably one of the biggest things that we see uh, from college students going on uh, that, you know, once they really solidify that, that's, that spells the difference in how, how, um, how well they do on the collegiate level. Um, your students are also building the foundation of those things, not, not just in the college process, but also here at, Car at Cary Academy, just as a student. Um, but we definitely try to, we definitely incorporate that um, in this college process as well. So again, so many different factors are coming into play. Students are maturing through this process. Um, and for us, it's really a joy to see where a student goes from that January of junior year and where they end um, uh, around May uh, of senior year and how much they've grown. That reflection process is really, really deep. So um, that's really uh, kind of like the overview and, and philosophy of what we uh, what we try to achieve here with our students through the college counseling process. 
Um, if you all have any questions at all, uh, we're happy to field them. We're happy to clarify anything in terms of our process. Um, and, and, and just know we're always here as a resource for you, whether you're a prospective student or you've already signed on, you've been accepted and you're now um, weighing your options. So um, we'd love to talk to you. Um, just reach out um, if you have any questions and go Chargers.